thing. You like it? I'm gonna build you a house right here. Our house. Would you marry me? Richard and Mildred Loving were two people that loved each other, and they didn't understand why the rest of the world couldn't see it. I want to take Mildred up to D.C. to get married. Are you sure about that? He was white and she was black, and our government told them that they could not love each other. Richard and Mildred basically fell into a hot situation because they happened to just have a pure love for each other. Can you imagine that? They came up against many obstacles. I now pronounce you husband and wife. In here? Richard! What you doing in bed with that woman? I'm his wife. There's no good here. Sheriff Brooks represents what people thought. That was the law and the status quo. Richard Perry Loving being a white person and the Mildred Jeter being a colored person did unlawfully cohabitate as man and wife. Richard! That ain't right! Mildred was kept in jail over three days over a weekend when she was super pregnant. Both the accused leave Caroline County in the state of Virginia at once. When they were forced to move to D.C., I think that was a very painful shift in her life. Hello, Mrs. Loving. My name is Bernard Cohen, the American Civil Liberty. Like now, hey. Now they were fighting for ending the idea of being able to ban interracial marriage. I believe this is a court battle that could go all the way to the Supreme Court. There's no guarantee we can get them out if they get arrested again. They risk the lives of their children, their family, their selves. I move them back to the country. I don't care what they do to us. They open the doors for so many other people to love who they love. It wasn't about a civil rights movement. It was about just two people loving each other and willing to do whatever it takes to be together. I can take care of you. I know that. I love this story. It's certainly become far more known in the past few years in the more recent Supreme Court case around marriage equality. Any time that we can be reminded of the elegance and the simple beauty of love, it's a good thing. You realize this case could alter the Constitution of the United States. You think you'll lose? We may lose the small battles, but win the big war. Is there anything you'd like me to say to the Supreme Court justices of the United States? Yeah. Tell the judge I love my wife.